we ask you not just to believe but to internalize. Let us believe that the power to change this nation lies within us, not just the politicians, not just the experience, not the international community, but within you and me, all 40 million Kenyans, all of us together. We want to believe in the possibilities of a government that cares and listens and delivers on what it has promised. A government that might not always go where you want it to go, but that will take responsibility and account for all its actions. A government that embraces the spirit of the new constitutional order and lives to its true mandate. A government, ladies and gentlemen, that believes not in itself, but in you, the people of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey we begin today shall indeed be a long and tedious one. The path that we take shall and will be littered with a lot of snares and traps given the kind of politics that we have exercised in this country. But I ask you today, ladies and gentlemen, that let us choose the path that has least been taken. The path of peace and tolerance. The path, ladies and gentlemen, of an issue-based campaign and respect for our opponents. Our actions in the coming days and months must speak louder than the words that we shall utter. Let us not be drawn into the name-calling and politics as usual that has characterized the previous electioneering seasons. The National Alliance wants to bring a paradigm shift to these elections. And we must be seen, ladies and gentlemen, to act differently. The National Alliance party officials who are before us today are professionals from all walks of life, committed to the party, and who will not be seeking elective positions in the forthcoming election and this provision we have in our constitution to ensure that the party has not only the most committed, youthful and dedicated officials, but the party remains strong and on course with its program and its agenda as will have been agreed with the people. We also want to ensure that as a party, we will also deal with the other major political problem that bedevils political parties in our country. That that says that once an election is over, the winner takes everything. In the past, ladies and gentlemen, as you well know, losers in a political campaign would be in the political cold until the next general election. And they would spend their time, unfortunately, undermining the incumbent of that election. The result of this, ladies and gentlemen, was that the elections in Kenya were always cutthroat, and inevitably, the gaining up of the losers against the victor ensured that our society and our system of politics failed to nurture leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, the party nomination rules that we will seek to put in place will seek to circumvent this problem by ensuring that losers in the nomination process, having achieved a threshold of votes, would be incorporated at the various levels of appointive positions in keeping with their qualifications so that no leader who is able and willing to serve the people 
is excluded from the leadership of this country. What this means, ladies and gentlemen, is that the party will be open to everyone without fear or favor. In my own career in politics, I can indeed testify that 90% of the problems that take place in political parties in Kenya take place during the nomination of candidates. If the fear of being rigged out at the nomination stage is removed, there will be less need for a myriad of political parties. The accommodation, ladies and gentlemen, of losing candidates into other positions will safeguard the cardinal principle of fair competition while assuring that after the competition, the like-minded, the able, and indeed the popular are able to work together for our nation and its people. This, ladies and gentlemen, instead of engaging in negative and destructive politics that have as routed in our country being unable to achieve its development goals. Ladies and gentlemen, this will allow the party to grow and to ensure that our ideologies and programs and policies are not only developed by the party, but are also effectively implemented once we are in government. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our ambassadors of change must drive this new image of a modern party. When all is said and done, this republic must emerge from the next general election stronger and more united than ever before. The National Alliance will spare no effort in ensuring this happens. In the same spirit of unity, the National Alliance is eager and willing to work and even merge with other like-minded parties to ensure greater stability and cohesion in the political arena. It was once said, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to quote, that to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but we must also dream. We must not only plan, but we must also believe. We today have seen a dream being unfolded. We have seen the wings of hope that can carry us into the future and beyond. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not some grand, elaborate design. No. On the contrary, it is very simple and very basic. It is all about our dreams. We all dream, children more so. But we must all now start believing in order to achieve great things for this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we seek today your blessing to offer a world of possibilities. An opportunity to draft the Kenya we want into our manifesto and a mandate to implement the vision of this new republic. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in your hands the power to truly attain that which we all dream for our nation, Kenya. The foundation has been laid and the mason's tools are once again in your hands. Let us build a God-fearing republic and in so doing, the good Lord of all creation will bless this our land and nation. 